Hello everybody! Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. My name is Sho and I have yet another Vintage Coach unboxing for everyone out there. Now this bag is one that I've actually been trying to track down for ages and ages. Um, it's not super hard to find this style of bag but it is hard to find in one really good condition uh, in a color that I was interested in and in the size that I was looking for. Um, I think that I was able to track down the right size and one that was in fantastic condition for the price. Um, as for color, I'm not a hundred percent. That's the one, the one spot where I'm like, oh, it could be what I was hoping for, but it might not be. Regardless, it's going to be totally fine. I'm really excited about it. Uh, so with any, without any further ado, I want to go ahead and crack this guy open so we can all see what's inside. Okay, it is in the correct size, and here is the bag. Ba -ba -da -ba. In just a second, I ba -ba -ba -da -ba just a little too soon. <laughs> Okay. Ta da! So I believe the official coach catalog name for this is the Medium Saddle Pouch. Now, I was going for a, not mahogany, they actually, according to the catalog, didn't make mahogany, they made a burgundy one. And this from the photos, looked like it could potentially have been, but it actually looks like this one is going to be mocha, I want to say. I think that was one of the colors that it was made in, um, which is totally fine. I, do, I don't have any mocha bags, to be honest, and I really would like to collect as many different colors of vintage coach bags as humanly possible. Um, and the leather is in fantastic condition. Um, all of the edges are really, really well preserved. The piping looks really great. There's some scratches, but those can be totally taken care of with no problem. The strap is in excellent condition from everything that I'm looking at. Yeah, that's amazing. And according to the Creed, let me get this guy open. This is even a New York City bag. Um, you can see from here, still in really excellent condition. God, the leather already feels really good. I mean, it definitely needs conditioning. It needs a dunk and it needs conditioning, but I mean, it feels so much nicer than so many of the other bags that I've gotten. Um, but yes, so according to the Creed, it is a New York City bag. It is, um, obviously, since it's a New York City bag, pre um serial number as far as the last four digits go so it's just you know the random seven digits uh, uh and the random seven numbers that make up its uh little code at the bottom but um looks really good even on the inside and it's probably not going to be clear yep it just looks like a giant gaping black hole but um as for the different parts of the bag when you open it up, you've got this buckle flap. Pull the flap up and you have a little front slip pocket. This cute little um, notch that catches your uh, strap. If I can get that in there. If you don't want to end up using the buckle all the time, that way you can just 
easily access the inside, which I really like about it. Let's see. And then on the inside, you've got your main compartment, which is pretty sizable. And then you also have a zipper pocket that goes all the way across. It's not one that, remo that removes or anything. And the zipper is still really smooth. I just really love vintage coach zippers. I mean, they're crazy. The talent is amazing, like on the, the basic bag, but even these ones, they're so smooth. And they have that great, like, just like that perfect zipper sound. Um, the strap is removable. I don't know. I don't, I don't think you would ever use it as a clutch, but you can remove the, the strap completely. Uh, it buckles on to the sides. And there is no external back slip pocket, um, my beloved slip pocket, alas. Uh, but I knew that going in, I'm not particularly bothered by that. And you can see on the front, it does have that buckle seal, so you can make it super secure. This one also comes with its hang tag. I don't know that I realized that, but that's very nice. Um, but as you can see, it is not a huge bag. I was looking for this actually. This is the medium one. There is also a large and then I don't know if they call it small or mini in the catalog. I can't remember. Uh, but there, there are three sizes and just so you have a reference and I'll put this uh, across the bottom of the screen as well. The medium is nine inches across about seven inches high, seven and a quarter, it looks like, and then about two inches wide. So not a huge bag, but certainly not a teeny, teeny, tiny one. Um, and with its height, I really like the fact that I'll be able to put a lot of stuff in it. So I still get kind of a mini feel, uh, because you know, if I have a giant bag, I'm going to stuff that sucker full of everything I can. So forcing myself to sort of edit what I carry with me is a good thing. Um, but it's not so small that I can't bring everything that I need with me. Um, and because that, that's what I'm kind of finding uh, is an issue. Uh, I'm trying to carry mini bags in order to sort of downsize with everything that I've got with me at any, any given time. But I do find that like being able to have things that bring me a little extra comfort, like full size hand, hand sanitizer and things like that are kind of challenging when space is at a premium in um, any pocketbook that you bring with you. Uh, and obviously those are real necessities that you definitely want to have with you. So any in any case, uh, I am so excited about this bag and really, really thrilled uh, that I found one that I'm that I that I really like so much about and it's in such good condition. I just keep looking at the leather and all of the piping and the edges. I cannot believe how old this is and how solid its construction still is. Like even with as far as like the stitching goes, there's like maybe one or two little bits that look like they might come loose at some point in the future, but they're, they're not really particularly damaged in any way. Um, the strap, the strap is showing some signs of wear just as far as, um, you know, the edges and everything go, but it's still, there's, it's nowhere near it's doomsday date or anything like that. It's still very much functional and it is definitely going to hold together for a good long while. Uh, so, um, once I give this little guy a dunk and some rehabbing love, I will make another video that gives you an update on what he looks like and what can fit inside. Uh, and we will be all set for that. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and call this, uh, the end. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for my unboxing of the vintage coach medium saddle pouch. Um, this was a lot of fun. I, like I said, I've been waiting for this bag for a really long time. So I'm very, very excited to finally have one. Um, if you have any questions, uh, if you're looking for this bag, if you are curious about the other two sizes, just leave me a comment and I'll give you what information I have. It's just from general photos from old catalogs in the past. So that's what I've been going off of. 
um, and then a little tiny bit of uh, purse form information, but that's really that's really about it. There's not a whole lot out on YouTube or anything like that about this guy. So um, hopefully if you are interested, this video helped you out. Uh, if you did find this video useful or entertaining, as always, please do consider uh, clicking the like button and the subscribe button. I always love having new people join us and, you know, feel free to start up a conversation. I love talking about bags, whether it be about vintage coach or whatever else. So uh, again, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.